Obviously behind us we see a cloudy gray skies, but that's not what our summer was filled with. We've all felt the impacts this year of Washington's worsening wildfire seasons. No part of Washington was free from wildfires this year. Whether you were in Spokane looking across the Spokane River and could not see the other side, or whether you were in Hood Canal in the middle of the water unable to see any shoreline in any direction. Wildfires in Washington State's forests have impacted all of us. Only a few weeks ago, parents were forced still to keep their kids inside during the summer and canceled soccer games and baseball games. At times, Washington State's air quality was the worst in the world. Hot, dry conditions coupled with diseased and dying forests are leading to more catastrophic wildfires every single year in Washington State. We've responded to over 1,700 wildfires this year alone, setting 2018 up to be one of the worst wildfires on record. We also saw a record number of wildfires in western Washington. Almost 40% of our fires this year were west of the Cascades. This is clearly not just an eastern Washington issue, this is a western Washington issue. Wildfires in Washington State is an entire state issue. Simply put, we have a forest health crisis here in Washington State. And because of our forest health crisis, we have a wildfire crisis. Our forests are suffering. Our trees are dying due to disease, insect infestation, and drought. And these forests are on federal lands, they're on state lands, they're on tribal lands, and they're on private lands. These weakened and overcrowded forests are creating a ticking time bomb every single year that threatens our people and our communities and our state. We have a responsibility to immediately address our forest health crisis, to set our state up, to be able to respond to our wildfires, and to absolutely restore our summers back to every single Washington State resident. That is why I'm here today to announce an ambitious and long needed investment in Washington State's wildfire fighting force and our forest health. In all, I put forward a $55 million request that transforms our firefighting strategy and ensures that we are getting on top of our unhealthy forests and the crisis they pose for our communities. The vast majority of DNR's firefighting crew is seasonal. We are the largest wildfire fighting force in Washington State, yet a majority of our firefighters are seasonal which makes it difficult for us to retain exceptional firefighters and move them up to leadership positions. This package invests $12 million to create permanent full-time positions for 30 engine leaders who are currently in seasonal roles. When they're not fighting fires, these men and women, people like Tommy Matsuda with DNR, will plan and carry out projects to restore our forests from active selective thinning to prescribed fires. This will create living wage jobs in economically vulnerable communities and will create a safer, more resilient state. We also need to make sure our firefighters are trained to deal with the increasing complex wildfires we are seeing every single year. This package adds full-time specialized trainers to ensure that our local, state, federal firefighters and community members have the skills they need to suppress fires that burn more intensely and in more populated areas. To support our firefighters on the ground, we are seeking $6 million to add two helicopters to our fleet, similar to the one behind you. The seven helicopters we currently use have been key in our ability to keep 95% of our wildfires this year to less than 10 acres. With these air assets on the ground, quick and easily putting out those fires, we're able to get our hand crews in safely and contain fires at a smaller level and keep them small rather than watching them spread to 70, 80,000 acres in just a matter of few hours. With fires spread all over Washington State, including the ones on our western part, more than one-third of them on our west side of our state, our air assets every single day were spread thin across every corner of Washington. 
We also have to rapidly accelerate our restoration of central and eastern Washington's ailing forests. We're asking for $17.7 million to continue restoring our forests to health. This investment in lines with my 20-year forest health plan, which calls for us to restore 1.25 million acres in eastern Washington alone over the next 20 years. That's about 70,000 acres a year through mechanical thinning and prescribed burn. I would much rather see our forest put to product and value and protecting our environment than putting it to smoke and fire, which threatens our communities. This is a targeted, thoughtful proposal, one based on stakeholder input and feedback from our local and state and federal firefighters and leaders on the front lines. This proposal is supported by the Wildland Fire Advisory Committee, a group whose expertise and guidance has been invaluable. We're joined today by two of their members, Gary Burnt, committee chair, as well as Dave LaFay, fire chief of Cowlitz 2 Fire and Rescue, who you'll hear from later this morning. I want to conclude by acknowledging our local firefighters. Every single day, from early April all the way to present, our firefighters have spent months, days, nights away from their families inhaling smoke and dealing with some very hot, strenuous, and challenging conditions. They put their lives every single day on the line to make sure our neighbors, our property, our communities, and our natural resource lands are kept safe. We owe them the appropriate equipment, training, and support to make sure that they can be safe out there, and so we can be safe in our communities. Our children are growing up in a Washington without summer. Our businesses are losing as people no longer come to visit some of our most precious and beautiful communities. Our environment is hurting, and it is hurting our economy. Our communities and our taxpayers cannot continue to sustain the losses that our forest health crisis is inflicting on Washington State. That is why I'm urging our legislature to fund this package. Over the last five years, the response to the megafires we have seen in Washington State that has threatened our communities has cost our state alone $1 billion. It's time to come together to make upfront investments that keep wildfires small and will ensure that our skies can stay smoke free. This is a monumental moment for our state and for our leadership to step up and ensure the protection our state and our communities need. We have the chance right now to better protect our communities, our firefighters, and our children. We have the chance right now to reverse the trajectory of drought and disease that have ravaged our once beautiful landscapes. We have a chance right now to leave our children a better state than the one we inherited. I look forward to working with the governor and the legislature to ensure our firefighters and our communities have the resources they need to be safe.